But the bulldog's interesting. The bulldog has a tiny amygdala, the, the fear region. And, you know, you always think of the bulldog, they're fearless. I, mean, right. my, I had a bulldog, unfortunately, I put him away last week. I had to put him down last week. It was terrible. But he had, he got skunked over a hundred times because this, <laughs> this, this bastard, you would hear rustling in the bushes and he would just go in. It's like the Marine right. you know, thing. They just go in. They don't ask questions like what's there. So he's an English bulldog? He was an English bulldog mastiff. He was, his, oh, that's interesting. It's crazy. I, I don't want to cry because I just put him down. So I don't want to talk about him too long because we were, to, yeah, I had him 11 years. His mm -hmm. name was Costello. He had a head like this, 22 inch neck. And actually I'll come clean now because uh, maybe the veterinary world will come after me. About eight years into owning him, he had all these health problems. He was putting on weight, is shedding like crazy. His joints were aching. And um, a friend of mine said, well, why don't you put him on a little bit of testosterone? He, I had him clipped when he was younger, neutered him. Mm. So I started giving him 10 to 20 milligrams of, of testosterone a week. Everything changed. His appetite came back. He stopped shedding. He leaned out. And I asked my vet, I said, what's the story here? And she said, there are a lot of things that we could do to make a animals' lives better that we don't. For instance, hormone therapy, give them cough medication. But wait a minute. Why not just take, not have them clip? Well, I didn't think of that. I was too late and you can't put so them. So many doctors are so, they're so eager. Did you clip Marshall? No. Okay. So you were, so you're ahead of the curve because. Well, I had a great doctor. I had a great yeah, doctor helps. in Los Angeles that told me, he said, there's no reason to do this. He goes. Look, people don't want unwanted puppies. He goes, but you're not letting your dog just right. run around and breed with things. He's like, there's a risk of prostate cancer. That's the thing. But, you know, dogs kind of get prostate cancer anyway. He goes, there is maybe an association between not being clipped. But, but that's also with humans. You know, there was a thing that just uh, was published very recently that said um, there's a direct correlation between castration and life extension. Sure. Well, men. do you remember that, um, I mean, along these lines, I just, uh, to the, your doctor is a good one because um, whoever that is, because there was an article recently, I think it was Wall Street Journal, maybe it was Washington Post that said that they've been polling vets and vets are starting to say, yeah, if you really ask me, it's not the right thing to do for their health. Just think about the joint pain. Of yeah. a, I mean, Costello is a 90 pound bulldog mastiff. He has to carry that. Load. Right. And he's, you know, and he can't repair his joints. The moment he started getting regular TRT, I mean, now I'm, I'm coming clean. My dog was on TRT. Usada come after me. He <laughs> was happier. He slept better. His mm. breathing got better. Everything was better. Of course. At the end, like a nerve degeneration thing got him. But, uh, you know, what we do to these animals is terrible. You can't castrate a male animal unless you have an exceptionally good reason to do it. I think it's actually cruelty to animals to do it. And I confess I did it not knowing better. It's a, you know, it's a, there's a reason why they give testosterone to help depression in male species. Well, there's a, there's a, a lot of people that are trying to influence people to do it. Like when you go to your vet, like I had a, a bulldog who, uh, or who's a mastiff rather, who died uh, a few years back. And uh, I brought him to the vet, a different vet. My The other vet unfortunately died. And um, when I brought him to the vet, the lady was pointing at his balls. And she goes, what are those there for? I go, those are his balls. And she goes, why does he still have them? I go, because I want him to. Like, what, this is not, what are you doing? Like, uh, this is not what he's here for. He's he's here for something else. Like, I think take, they, they scare people or something, but the- Well, she was just making it seem like it's a mandatory thing that you have to do to a dog. Yeah. And I go, I'm like, why? Yeah. Tell I, me, because I know I did it to one of my dogs in the past and he immediately got lackadaisical. He lost a lot of his enthusiasm. I did it to him as an adult. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, and uh, he he lost all his energy. It was crazy to watch it drain out of him. And I was like, this is fascinating. You know, like he just stopped, stopped having energy, stopped having enthusiasm. It was just like all of his gas just went out of the system. I gave Costello testosterone and steak to the end, and I'm proud of it. And in female dogs, you know, estrogen prolongs brain health. I mean, mm -hmm. you ask any post uh, sort of perimenopausal woman how they're feeling. It's generally not they're feeling better than they were before. Right. And estrogen replacement therapy makes people feel better. Their brain functions better. I think the same is true for female dogs. Yeah. I mean, this... I don't know how this whole thing got started. Somebody who knows the veterinary world better than I will probably. Um, it's unwanted puppies. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, but like it's you said, they're not puppies. running the neighborhood anymore. I so. agree. 